Almost ready, friend. This is so quiet to me. Yes. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for being here. I was just, CC was the first one in here like 10 minutes before class and nobody else was here. And we're like, I guess it's just me and you. But you came. Thank you for being here. It makes me so happy. Thursdays are a little um, less crowded usually than my Tuesday class. So when Thursdays are full, it makes me very pleased. Um, <clears throat> I know most of you. There's a couple new faces in here. If you haven't come to this class before, it's deep power. So we move slow and intentionally um, and just take time in the poses to really feel into our bodies, use our breath to get a little deeper. So I also call it slow burn because it's like not hard. Like we're not like moving fast or anything, but like by the end of class, you're like, ooh, my muscles. Okay. Um, and then beyond that... I'm trying to think announcements. I have my frequency class this Saturday, but it's sold out. If you really want to come, let me know. Uh, maybe we could fit in one or two extras. And then that's all I can think of. Does anybody else have any announcements? Questions, comments, concerns, requests? Okay, let's just do the thing then. So go ahead and find your <clears throat> seated meditation if you're not there already. And you might take a moment to adjust a little bit. You might take a moment to move your physical body a little bit and just kind of feel around. Notice how you feel today. Bless you. So just notice how you woke up, how you slept last night, how your shoulders feel, your spine, your low back, your hips. <clears throat> and then eventually, no hurry, but eventually just come to stillness. So sit up nice and tall. And rest your hand somewhere, some way, intentionally. Either close your eyes, or if you prefer to keep them open, just lower and soften your gaze. And see if you can notice, are you tensing up anywhere in your face that you don't need to be? Maybe you're clenching your jaw a little bit, or tightening up through your forehead or your eyebrows. See if you can let your <clears throat> shoulders relax down away from your ears. Like they're melting away from your ears and feel your neck, back of your neck get a little longer. And just start to really tune in to everything that is present, everything that is creating this moment right here, right now. So if you were thinking about something that happened earlier on your way to this class or something that's going to happen later, see if you can let all of that go for now. You don't need to figure anything out. Just land here in this space in your body. Feel into your breath. Connect with your breath. Maybe even visualize your breath as it's flowing through you. <clears throat> Next time you inhale... Let's fill up as big as we can and hold at the top. Once you are full, see if you can even sip in just a little bit more. Big open mouth sigh. Let it go. Ha. Ah. Good. Do that two more times. So great big, huge inhale. Fill up. Take that moment of pause. Maybe an extra sip, maybe even two extra sips. And then when you're ready, open your mouth and just let it go. Sigh it out. Ah, very nice. Do that one more time. Biggest inhale you've taken all morning long. Pause in fullness. Dip in that little bit extra if it's there. And when you are ready, let it go. Ah. Good, you guys. Seal your lips now and start to drop into your ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. 
and see if you can start to create that whisper noise with your breath, that oceanic sound. So the inhale is like you're taking a really, really deep, slow motion gas. The exhale is like you are fogging up a window with your lips sealed on top of the breath. So stay right here as long as you want to. Stay right here and just connect with your own rhythm. Connect with your own internal pulse. And come back here at any time during practice if you just need a moment to recenter, to slow down. If you're ready to start moving, friends, keep your ujjayi breath going. Keep your connection to it. And come forward to hands and knees. So once you're on hands and knees, anything goes. Intuitive movement, whatever would feel good to you. So if you want something familiar, you might start with cat cows. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. And then from your cat cows, you can start to get a little more creative, more curious. Maybe take your hips all the way around and create big circles. And maybe you just feel like sitting back into a child's pose and finding a sense of grounding there for a few breaths. Dang it, you guys, my iPad is like struggling to charge. So I promise I'll get you music at some point. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I have this problem on Tuesday as well. <laughs> so... If it helps you get out of your head, I really encourage closing your eyes and see if you can just put your awareness in your body. So put your awareness in your spine, in your shoulders, in your hips. Put your awareness in your hands, in your fingers, in your wrists, in your forearms. And then I'm going to say in your next few rounds, no rush, but eventually downward facing dog is our destination. So whenever you are ready, just start a transition back to your own downward facing dog. Maybe you want to move through a vinyasa to get there. Maybe you want to hover your knees for a moment, hovering tabletop, and then slowly take your hips up and back. When we don't have music, really see if you can hear your breath. See if you can hear that whisper noise that oceanic sound and use it to help you focus to anchor you to this present moment to anchor you into your body good job everybody so once you're back in down dog do the same thing just explore just feel around so if you want to you can pedal out your heels you can shift your weight from side to side give your head a little shake or a little nod <clears throat> And if it feels good in this first down dog, maybe you bend both knees a lot. And just come up to your tiptoes, the balls of your feet, and really work the length from your fingertips up to your sit bones. So in your down dog, rather than feeling like all the weight is down in your hands, how can you get your core to do more work? How can you get your shoulders to feel stronger? How can you get your breath to support you and hold you? You guys look really good. Nice down dogs. Take one more big inhale into your dog pose. Fill up with breath. Push the ground away. And as you exhale, look to the top of your space and however you would like to get there, forward fold. And give yourself a moment to just hang out in your fold. I recommend feet at least hips width distance apart for this first one, maybe even a little wider. So that'll just give your hips and your pelvis a little more room. And then make sure all of your toes are facing forward. Maybe grab opposite elbows for ragdoll and kind of bob or bounce or sway. So notice in your fold, where are you holding your weight? Try to keep your weight more in your toes and the balls of your feet. So your heels are just very light against the ground. And then focus on using the strength in your center, in your core, to lift your sit bones up towards the sky. So think sit bones towards the sky, crown towards the ground, and then big, deep breaths. Use your exhales to just melt into your fold a little bit more. Take just one more round. 
As you inhale, come to a halfway lift position. So lengthen, get all the rounding out of your back. Exhale, bow and fold. Do that one more time. So halfway lift. Top of your head reaches forward, tops of thighs press back, sit bones broaden. Exhale, release, let it go. And this time we're going to come all the way up. So come through your halfway lift and keep rising. Lead with your heart, arms to the sky. Hands to heart as you exhale. Let's take a couple half sun salutes with our breath. Inhale, reach up, high mountain. Slow dive, stick your butt out, bend your knees a lot if it feels better in your low back, your heart leads, and then all the way down. Good work, halfway lift position, inhale. Exhale, bow, and let it go. See if you can hear your own breath, press into your feet, lead with your heart, rise up. Inhale, take your arms up, maybe gaze up. Hands to heart as you exhale. One more round like that. Try closing your eyes and feel yourself move from the inside. Reach up, breathe in. Slow dive. Remember, stick your butt out. Weight is more forward and your toes and the balls of your feet. Bend in your knees is more than welcome. Halfway lift as you inhale, lengthen out. And let it go, fold in. All the way to emptiness, connect to your center. Press into your feet, take it all the way back up, arms to the sky. Beautiful breath, you guys. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, inhale, take your arms up. And then exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. And if you typically have your arms really straight and you're locking out your elbows, see if today you can bend your elbows, press your palms together like they're suction cupped. Squeeze your elbows together like they're magnetized. And then imagine just your fingers are super glued together and you're trying to pull them apart. See if you can keep all of that and start to reach your hands back away from your body. Maybe add a little back bend. So press your hips forward, hug in with your inner thighs. Lift and puff up through your chest. Soften your face, take one more big in breath. And keep your clasp, hinge at your hips, exhale all the way down into your fold. Big bend in your knees might be really helpful. Hang out here for a few rounds. So see if you can just let your head be heavy. Connect to your center and use the mobility in your shoulders to lift your knuckles towards the sky. Good job, friends. Take one more inhale. Exhale, hands to low back, release your clasp. Let your arms hang down. Maybe give them a little shake out, let them dangle. Inhale to a halfway lift position, realign your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank position, top of your push up. Pause here and just really find your strength. Make sure you're spreading your fingers, push the ground away. Maybe take little rocks forward and back. Yes, love it. Good job. You can come to your knees at any time if you'd like. One more inhale. Rock forward to your tippy tippy toes. Exhale, lower halfway down. Chaturanga hold. Strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, push back up high plank. Nice, Kristen. Exhale one more time like that. Halfway down. Try to keep your elbows right over your wrists. Inhale, push up. So very nice. Exhale, slow, strong, straight line all the way to your belly. Good job. Spider-Man Cobra. So hands come out to the hardwood floor, nice and wide. Lift to your fingertips. Inhale, lift your heart. Doesn't have to be super high, as high as feels good to you. Exhale, take a little twist to your right side and dip your left shoulder down. It's like a micro shoulder pigeon. Inhale, back through center. Wider the better with your hands, up on your fingertips. Exhale, other side, twist. Yes, very nice. Inhale, back to center. One more time each way on your own, or if you'd rather take a different heart opener, feel free. Take something that works better for you. And then eventually, friends, downward facing dog. No rush. You can find your way back however you'd like. Just do it mindfully. Once you're backing down, dog, really reconnect to your ujjayi. 
slow, steady, spacious, powerful, vibrant. Feel your breath flowing through you. Feel your breath holding and supporting you. From your down dog, next inhale, take your right leg to the sky. And then try not to move through your hands or your shoulders. Open your right hip. So bend your right knee, reach your right knee out and up. So feel your right hip stack on top of left. Keep hugging your left inner thigh in towards midline. Nice, Chris. Active through your right foot. Press through both hands. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, or as close as you can come, push the ground away. Inhale, back up. You can open your hip if you want, or you can extend long if you'd rather. Exhale, right to right. Aim for your armpit. Aim as high as you can on your arm. Nice person. Inhale, back up. And then last one, knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly and as soft as possible. Nice, Jana. Step forward, low lunge. As you are ready, rise up to your high crescent lunge. Beautiful, Sandra. So take your time to settle in and find stability in your legs. So your legs are your strong foundation. Imagine you're trying to pull your front hip back and your back hip forward. So you're hugging towards midline. You're feeling your strong legs and then your upper body can grow into your own unique expression. So you don't have to change anything physically, but feel into what do I want to embody in this pose? Maybe you're gazing up. Maybe you're smiling a little bit. Maybe you're softening through your fingers. Maybe you're spreading your fingers super wide like there's energy shooting out of them. Take one more inhale and just feel yourself in crescent lunge in this moment. As you exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh and kind of lean forward. Draw your belly button back towards your spine and feel almost like you're rounding or puffing up through your low back. So you want to feel your connection to center here. As you are ready, lean forward more and float your back leg off the ground. Keep that connection to center. So keep drawing your belly button in and up. Press with your back foot like you're stomping your back foot on the back wall. A bend in your standing leg might be helpful. You can stay right here or option to add some arms. Awesome, Callie. So arms could go forward, back, out to the sides. Prayer hands, you do you. Yes, awesome, Liz. Take one last round wherever you are at. Beautiful, Marriott. And then slowly return to crescent lunge, soft landing if possible. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the earth. Bring your hands to the inside of your right foot and walk your right foot out to the width of your yoga mat. Your right foot might even come onto the hardwood floor if you want. Here are your options. You can either keep your hips lifted high and work your heart down towards the ground. You could also bring your back knee down, hips towards the ground, lift your heart up. If cat grabs its tail is in your practice and you feel like going there, you're more than welcome to, or maybe some variation of it. So anywhere you wanna go, friends, for about five breaths. Try to keep your right knee on top of or behind your ankle. So it's not bad if it comes forward of your ankle, but you're just taking the mobility now into your ankle and your knee rather than your hip. If you want to, you can pivot your right toes a little bit out to the right. You could even roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Just keep your right ankle really strong. Breathe into your hips. Awesome job. Love the variations. Take about two or three more rounds. Exhale out your mouth at any time. So if you're like, oh my gosh, this is so intense, I hate it. Give that energy somewhere to go. Ah. Nice, Ariel. Take one last big deep breath. Nice, Shauna. Slowly, if you're not already there, come back up onto your hands. Stack your hands under your shoulders and lift your back knee off the ground. Work your right foot to the back of your yoga mat so you'll be in a plank position. From your plank position, roll onto the baby toe edge of right foot, side plank. If you want to bring right forearm or right knee down, you are more than welcome to do so. If your right knee is not on the ground, lift your hips super, super high. So try to create a rainbow or an arch shape with your body. Yes, awesome, K. Maybe left arm goes forward. Maybe left leg even floats up. 
Feel your right side oblique so strong. Take one more deep breath. Your pose, your expression. Beautiful. Plank or modified slowly. Inhale at the top of your push-up. Find your strength. Lower down. Exhale. Ah. All right. Stay low. Stay on your belly. And just a baby cobra. So lift your heart, not with your arm strength, but with your back strength. Yeah, nice, Holly. Press down. Bring awareness to your low body, your lower body. Press down through your shoelaces. Try to spread your toes and press down through your toenails. Try to press down through your pelvis. Now draw your belly button in and up towards your spine. See if you can keep all of that. So don't let your legs lift. Float your hands up. Reach your hands back. Feel the strength in your back body. Option if you want. Palms face each other or palms face the ground. Bend your elbows and try to squeeze your elbows closer together. See if you can feel your mid-back muscles fire. Your heart lifts higher. Take one more inhale. Lift, 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 lift. Yes, amazing. Exhale, let it go. Ah, Take one more heart opener. Something that would feel good to you. Just to stretch through your front body. Take your time. And then eventually, as you are ready, end up back in down dog. Ujjayi breath. So really reconnect. All right, from your down dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. And then pay attention to your hands and your shoulders. Try not to collapse through your right shoulder. Try not to shift at all through your arms. Open your left hip. So peel it open. It's like your left hip is a hinge on a door and your left leg is the door. It just swings open. Nice, CC. So active through your left foot. Your left knee is bent. See if you can lift your left knee just a tiny bit higher. Squeeze your outer left butt cheek. Take one more big inhale. Good. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. So a little twist across your body. Push the ground away. Inhale, back up. You can open your hip or you can extend if you'd rather. Exhale, left to left as high as you can get on your left arm. Yes. Inhale, back up. And everybody, last one. Knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly and then super softly step forward. Crescent lunge. Rise up. Settle in. Nice trace. So legs are strong. You're balanced on the ball of your back foot, on your back toes, but all of your toes are facing directly forward. Hug towards midline. Nice, Laura. So feel that connection to your center. That's what keeps you stable and strong here. From your strong foundation, grow into your own unique expression. So your upper body, feel into it. Breathe into it. Soften around it. Yes, so nice. One more inhale. Exhale, hinge forward. Bring your hands to your front thigh. And then as you set up to balance, as you prepare, see if you can find more connection to center. Draw your belly button in and up. It almost feels like you're rounding through just your low back. Whenever you're ready, back foot floats up. So lean forward more. Keep your back leg strong. If your back leg feels heavy, it's because you're not engaging the muscles in it. Back foot active like you're stomping it on the back wall. If you would like, add some arms. So your personal fullest expression in this moment. Last big breath. Beautiful aerial. See if you can land softly back in crescent lunge. If not, no big deal. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come down. Bring your hands to the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot out to the width of your yoga mat, nice and wide, maybe even onto the hardwood floor. And then you choose where you want to go on this side. So remember, hips can lift as your heart melts. Hips can move towards the ground, back knee down as your heart lifts. Or some variation, perhaps, of cat grabs its tail or twists. <sighs> Wherever you choose to go, make sure your breath can be there with you. So your breath is flowing into all the little spaces. If it feels like it gets stuck somewhere, get curious about that. How could you adjust to let it flow more freely? Last couple of rounds. Exhale out your mouth if you'd like. 
sometimes that open mouth sigh feels so good. Ah, nice job, everybody. Slowly find your way back up to your hands if you're not there already. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee if it's on the ground. And then just kind of heel toe your way back with your left leg so you'll be in a plank position. Plank position. From your plank pose, side plank. Left hand now is your base. Roll onto the baby toe edge of left foot, right arm to the sky. If you want to come down to your left knee or left forearm, please feel free. So make it your own on this side. Feel the strength in your left side abdominals. Yeah, like a rainbow or an arc shape. Option to reach your right arm forward, maybe even float your right leg up. You got this big, spacious breath. One more. And then slowly plank or modify. Inhale at the top of your push-up. Push the ground away. Exhale all the way down one strong straight line. Pause on your belly and we're going to stay low again. Just a baby cobra to start with. Feel all that in your lower body that we talked about before. Feel the strength in your back body. When you're ready, float your hands up, reach your hands back. And then this time, go ahead and float your feet up, reach your toes back. So we're not going into full floor bow yet. If you really want to, you can, but we'll get there later, I promise. So right now, just locust pose. Arms are reaching back, toes are reaching back. Hug in with your inner thighs. And imagine you're trying to rotate your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. See if you can find more strength in your mid back Maybe by bending your elbows and squeezing them together. Lift, your back. lift, 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 lift. Take one more inhale. Yes. Let it go. Ah, take a moment to just rest. You can turn your head to either side. Maybe give your hips a little rock, a little shimmy. Maybe even windshield wiper your shins a little bit. If you windshield wiper your shins, make sure your knees are wider than your hips. Breathe down into your low back. In your next few breaths, no hurry. However you want to transition, we'll meet back in down dog. Back in your down dog, friends. Ujjayi breath, reconnect. Feel it flow through. All right, one more big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, look to the top of your space, however you'd like to get there, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, bow, let it go. Root through your feet, take it all the way up, big stretch at the top. Hands to heart center, exhale. All right, we're gonna balance on our right foot. So imagine all your weight coming into your right foot. Lift your left knee up. You can keep your hands at your heart or you can bring your hands to your hips. So from here, we're just gonna open and close our left knee a few times. So working the mobility in our left hip, squeeze through your outer left glute as you open up. Try to stay still through your right side. Hug in with your right inner thigh. Next time your left knee opens to the left, keep it there. And we're gonna come into tree pose. So if you want, you can use your hand to help your foot up to your inner thigh. If it feels better, inner calf, inner ankle, tiptoes on the ground, totally fine. As you set yourself up, make sure you're not sinking into your outer right hip. So hug in towards midline. Yeah, and then option to grow your branches, reach your arms up, maybe even try a back bend, take your gaze up. So be in your pose for about three or three to five more breaths. And just breathe, just feel, just notice. Yeah, nice, Kirsten. So hugging in, like you're zipping a zipper up through your midline. Squeeze through your outer left butt cheek, your medial glute. Focused and alert, calm and relaxed all at the same time. Take one more round of breath here. And then see if you can stay balanced on your right foot. 
the heat. Okay. <laughs> Bring your left knee back to center. So square off your hips. And then if you want to, you can extend your left leg forward. Just one more second. Take one more big inhale. And then slow motion, low lunge. So see if you can let your toes and your fingers come down at the same time. Maybe. Maybe it's too late. That's fine. So low lunge position. All right. And then from your low lunge, we're going to twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Open through the right side of your heart. Legs are strong. Breathe down into your belly. Use your exhale to twist from your center. Good job, friends. So you can absolutely stay right here if you want to. Or the option is walk your left hand off the left side of your mat. Reach your right fingertips back. Let your heart look up. Keep your legs strong. Breathe down into your belly. Take one more huge deep breath. Awesome, Liz. Beautiful, friends. Nice, Sue. And then slow release. Let it go. Walk your hands all the way over to the left long edge of your mat now. Parallel your feet. Turn all of your toes to face towards the windows. Halfway lift position. Inhale. And then anywhere you want to go, you can work your fold. You can play with headstand. You can twist, skandasana. Wherever you choose to be, breath is right there with you. job so just stay stay in your body with sensation with those big spacious breaths and notice is there anywhere you can adjust a little bit to breathe bigger to let energy flow more freely last couple of rounds all right from here come back to a halfway lift fingertips on the ground and uh, walk your hands forward, rotate only your front toes forward. So your back foot stays as it is. And then warrior two, rise up when you're ready. Yeah, so right toes forward, left toes still face towards the windows. Take a moment to settle in. So you're tracking your front knee, open towards your pinky toe. Press with the outer edge of your back foot. Nice, Cam. Next time you inhale, reach forward, reach, reach, reach like you want to touch the front wall. And then the only thing that has to change is your arm side angle pose, right arm towards the ground, left arm towards the sky, or maybe right elbow to right thigh lightly. Maybe left arm reaches forward, bicep next to your ear. If a half or a full bind is in your practice, you're welcome to go there. Wherever you're at, remember your heart wants to look up. So see if you can let it. Keep wrapping your right butt cheek underneath your body. Keep pressing with your back foot. Keep breathing deeply. Yes, beautiful. One last round. Ah, all right. From here, we've got half moon, another balance. Root into your front foot. Reach your right hand forward. Maybe you've got a block. Float your back foot off the ground. So back leg is strong and powerful. Imagine your karate kicking with your back leg and it got frozen in space. Heart is open, hips are open, shoulders are open. If you want to move into the bound variation, Ardha Chandra Trapasana, bend your left knee, reach back, grab your foot, go for it. So your personal fullest expression, last couple of breaths. If you're falling out a million times, awesome. Meet yourself right there. That's why we came to this class to practice. Good job, everybody. One more inhale. Maybe lift your left leg a little higher. If you're holding your left foot, slowly release it. And then forward, full top of your space, nice and easy. Step your left foot down next to right. You might give your right leg a little shake out, or maybe you kind of give your right hip a little love pounding, love tap. Ah, oh, pedal out your heel. All right, bend your knees as much as you need to. Bring your hands behind your ankles, forearms behind your calves, elbows behind your knees. So you might be bending your knees a lot right now. And then once you've got your arms placed, just focus on lifting your butt up. So press arms into legs, legs back into arms, lift your sit bones towards the sky, crown towards the ground and breathe. 
is so it's an active forward fold try to use your core relax your neck feel your strong center an invisible rope pulling straight up on your belly button one last deep breath in your fold and end of your exhale let it go halfway lift position realign your spine lengthen out exhale fold bow empty out from the press of your feet, take it all the way to stand. Arms reach up and stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, we'll balance now on our left foot. So all your weight comes into your left leg, right knee floats up. Hands can stay at your heart or if you want to, hands to hips. And then start to open and close your right leg. So like a hinge on a door with your right hip. Your right leg just swings open. If this is hard, this might be something good to practice. If you feel like it's shaky or something kind of gets stuck or catches, work with that. Eventually, your right knee just stays open and then place your foot on your leg for tree pose. So inner thigh, awesome. Or maybe inner calf, inner ankle, totally fine. Explore with your arms. However you would like, so you can grow your branches, you can cactus your arms, lift your gaze. You can move your arms a little bit. Nice job. So notice, are you sinking into your outer left hip or are you hugging in? So that zipper zips up through midline, everything hugs in and gets taller, longer. Big, slow, steady breaths. So nice, you guys. Awesome. Cam, take one more. And then if at all possible, stay balanced on your left foot. Release your foot from your leg, square off your hip. So bring your right knee back to face forward. If you want to, you can extend your right leg. Try not to lean back. One more big inhale. Slow motion, low lunge. Fingertips and toes touch down at the same time, if possible. Yay, good job. All right, from your low lunge. So take a moment to adjust if needed. And then you're gonna add a twist. Right hand on the ground, left arm to the sky. You can always keep your back knee on the ground if you want to modify. Breathe all the way down into your belly, low back, and use your exhale to work your twist. If you want to, that option to take right hand, crawl your right fingertips off the right side of your yoga mat, and then left arm reaches back. It's like it's trying to touch the person or the wall behind you. Your heart wants to look up. Yes, so good. Beautiful, nice, Kristen, strong legs. One last huge breath, breathe down into your belly. Beautiful, Marriott. End of your exhale, let it go. Wide-legged straddle. So walk your hands to the right long edge of your yoga mat, parallel your feet. Straighten out your legs. Inhale to a halfway lift. Pause in your halfway lift for a moment. So this might mean you need to bend your knees. I want you to feel your strong core and see if you can reach your arms out to both sides. So use your strong core to hold you as you reach your arms out. Yes, good, Sue. Now imagine you're trying to press your arms up at the same time as you're trying to press your chest down. So arms towards the sky, chest towards the ground. Feel your strong back muscles. Stick your butt out, strong core. Reach your crown forward, long through your spine. Take one more inhale, breathe in every direction. Yay, let it go. Fold or explore, play, about five rounds. And the only instruction is just stay present, stay in your body. So rather than going somewhere else, which I know is tempting in these moments, see if you can stay present. So our mind just wants something more interesting to focus on pretty much always. So if you don't give it something to focus on here, it will go somewhere else. So focus on your breath, focus on the sensations you're feeling inside. Take one last round. Halfway lift with your next inhale. And this time, fingertips just on the ground. Walk your hands forward. Rotate only your left toes forward. So your right toes are still going to face towards the right wall. Warrior two, rise up when you're ready. Virabhadrasana two, nice, Laura. So left knee, rather than collapsing in towards your big toe, 
See if you can feel it tracking out towards your baby toe. Really wrap your left butt cheek underneath your body. Keep your back leg strong. Stay rooted through the outer edge of your back foot. Next time you breathe in, reach forward. It's like you're just trying to slide your rib cage forward when you can't reach anymore. Only your arms have to change. Left hand towards the ground, right towards the sky. Stay open. Stay open through your heart, your hips, your shoulders. Right arm could reach forward, half or full bind if it's in your practice and you want to go there. Couple more deep breaths. Legs are powerful. They're your strong structure. Upper body is your unique expression. Feel into it. Breathe into every little space. Last round. And then we're transitioning into another balance half moon. So you can use a block under your left hand. I highly recommend it. Reach forward and float your back foot off the ground. Back leg strong, powerful, like you're karate kicking. If you want to, sugar cane variation, Ardha Chandra Chapasana, bend your right knee. Reach back and hold your right foot. Work that opening in your front body. So wherever you choose to be, your pose, your expression, if that's falling in and out, awesome. Meet yourself right there. Let go of any judgment and just be with your body where it is at. Take one more big inhale. Maybe lift your right leg higher. If you're holding your foot, slowly re-extend. And then forward fold, top of your space. Nice and easy. Nice, Kirsten. You can give your left leg a little shake out. Cuddle out your heels, whatever feels good. And then this time, bend your knees as much as you need to. Wrap your peace fingers, your index finger, middle finger around your big toes. So hold on to your big toes. Keep holding on and try to find a halfway lift. So it might mean you keep a big bend in your knees. You just stick your butt out, reach the top of your head forward. Work your inner thighs back wide and apart. Exhale, fold in, use your arms as gentle leverage. So crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. Try not to roll onto the outer edges of your feet. Breathe into your low back. Feel your strong core holding you here. So your core is how you will work this pose. Once you figure out how to use your core in yoga, it's like a whole new world. Every single posture, you want to feel your connection to center. Take one more deep breath. Halfway lift. Release your hands. Realign your spine. Exhale, bow and fold. Rise all the way up. Big stretch of the top. Inhale. Hands to heart. Exhale. Let's flow for a moment. Breath to movement. Inhale, reach up. Side body stretch of your choice over to your right. Exhale. Through center as you breathe in. Realign. Other side as you breathe out, up and over. All the way to emptiness and then back to high mountain. Breathe in. Baby back bend. Exhale, cactus your arms. Squeeze the bottom tips of shoulder blades as you lift your heart. Inhale, realign. See if you can feel into neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Exhale, stick your butt out behind you. Reach your heart forward all the way down into your fold. Good job. Lift halfway. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, plank pose. Pause in your plank. One arm at a time. Keep your core strong as you transition down to your forearms, forearm plank. So elbows under shoulders. Forearms parallel, palms face down, fingers spread wide, and especially pressing the thumb and index. If you want a little less intensity, you can make a tripod with your hands. Gaze down, back of your neck long. Push down with your forearms. Draw your belly button in and up. Let's see, see. So from here, slowly start to work your way into a dolphin pose. Imagine an invisible rope attached to your belly button. It's pulling up, up, up. So walk your toes towards your elbows. Lift your hips as high as you can. You can bend your knees a lot. You can lift up to your tiptoes. Hug in with your upper arms. Hug in with your elbows. Try not to let your head touch the ground. Push the ground away. 
stay where you are at or if you want you can lift one leg, then the other leg. You can even play with little hops towards forearm stand if you'd like. About three more breaths in dolphin. You can do it. It's so, so good for your shoulders, for your upper back. Ah, soften around the pose. Soften your face, your jaw, your forehead. Use your breath. One last inhale. You got this. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Ah, bring your knees down and sit back and rest. So child, embryo, heroes, if you'd rather. Let your shoulders relax. Breathe into your shoulders. Breathe into your low back. Find a sense of grounding here. And in your next couple of rounds, downward facing dog. All right, inhale your right leg to the sky. Just like we did before, peel your right hip open, bend your knee, reach it out and up. Option this time to come down onto your left forearm. So like your left arm is in dolphin and then walk your right fingertips forward. So your right side gets really, really long. So left forearm is on the ground. Right hand walks itself forward. You feel that long line from your fingertips up to your right knee. If you are in this variation, take a couple more breaths here with me. If you're in a regular down dog with your hip open, you can stay there, explore in your own way. If you're down on your left forearm, slowly start to make your way back up. Woo. Walk your right hand back in. Everybody square off your hips. So feel the difference, inner thighs face each other. One more inhale here. As you exhale, right knee to your left elbow, pause. We're going to extend our right leg through, outer right foot on the ground. You can stay here or push down with your right hand, lift your left arm up, reach your left arm forward, fall in triangle. So you can root down into your left foot, your back foot. Outer edge of right foot is karate chopping the ground. Lift your hips. Take one more big inhale. Good job. Exhale, left hand down. Right leg to the sky. Three-legged dog. Inhale here. Pigeon pose. Right shin to the top of your space. Set your body down gently. You can absolutely go straight into your pigeon. Or option to reach your left hand back. Bend your left knee, grab hold of your foot. So right here, you can either work it just like this or your left hand, it rotates forward so your fingers face forward. And you're pushing your left heel towards your outer left glute. Stay here as long as you want or if there's another variation you wanna take, mermaid variation, king pigeon, go for it. So breathe into that quad stretch, and whenever you're ready, you can let it go and just bow. Good job. Breathe down into your outer right hip. Ah, oh, side out your mouth anytime. Let's see if you can bring your right knee all the way out here. Yeah, and then keep pulling this up and back. So just keep that muscle energy. Now bow forward. So as you're bowing, keep pulling that back. Yeah. And if you want to go deeper from there, keep pulling that back. Just scoot your back knee back. That's the only thing. Yeah. 
Try not to sit on the ground, but keep pulling up so you have stability. You're already really open in your hip, so work stability at the same time. Good job, friends. Take about three to five more rounds. So in pigeon pose, you've come to my class for a long time. You've heard me say this a million times, but we don't want to just sit into it. We don't want to just plop into it, especially if you're somebody who naturally can just plop down into your pigeon and set your right butt cheek on the ground. Try not to do that. So pull your right butt cheek up and back. Keep it hovering above the ground. So you want the strong structure of the pose, the integrity of the pose, and then you're softening around it. Take one last huge breath. Ah, slowly start to make your way back up. And we're gonna come into a seat. So however you'd like to get there, or you can kind of sit over onto your right butt cheek and swing your left leg around. Take both legs out in front of you and just give them a nice little shaky shake. And then tree pose, right foot, sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. And open your hips up towards the side wall. So you're allowing your hips to open rather than squaring your hips towards your extended leg. Try to keep both sit bones on the ground. Press your right foot into your leg and your leg back into your foot. Flex your left toes and point them straight up towards the sky. Left hand can rest on left thigh or in front of your left leg somewhere. Right arm reaches up. Inhale here, get taller. And as you exhale, side body stretch. So you might walk your left fingertips forward, reach your right hand forward. Keep your heart open. So pull your right shoulder back and down. If it is available to anybody in this room, you're welcome to grab your left big toe with your peace fingers. Just make sure you can keep your heart open. Keep pressing right foot into left leg, left leg back into right foot. Keep both sit bones rooted. Breathe into your right waistline, your right rib cage, the space between your ribs. Yes, you've got this. Use your big deep breaths. Use your core. One more round. Next time you inhale, rise up and bring both arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand down behind you. Fingers face away from your body. Push into your right hand, lift your hips up. Left arm reaches back, left side long. So like a modified side plank, or you can turn it into more of a modified wild thing. Let your heart look up. Take one more big, huge in-breath. Invitation for a lion's breath. As you exhale, stick out your tongue, cross your eyes, make noise. <laughs> Good job. Sit bones come down. Now, my friends, we're going to fold. So however you want to get there, you can readjust totally if you want. I like doing kind of like a ninja move, like reaching my left arm forward and then back. Reaching my right arm forward and then folding. So anything you need to do to adjust, and then fold over your extended leg. Yeah, left butt cheek pulls back as your heart reaches forward. Keep your toes flexed back, especially your little baby pinky toe. Yes, good job. So try to engage through your left quad, the front of your left thigh. Feel it fire as you stretch to the back. Take your last couple rounds here. Use your exhales to work your fold a little deeper. Nice, Chris. And then we're just gonna roll up. So end up your nice exhale, super slow roll back up. Head comes up, laugh. Once your head lifts, bring your hands behind you. Both feet on the ground with your knees bent, feet nice and wide, mat width distance apart. Take some windshield wiper side to side. Slowly, intentionally, really work your top knee forward and down. Maybe even kind of turn your shoulders the opposite direction. You should feel really good in your hips and your pelvis and your low back. Stay here as long as you want to. If you want to stay here for a while, mm, feel so good. Feel free. Otherwise, we're making our way back to down dog. So you can get there however you want to. Option to come with me. Or boat pose, a little bit of core. I'm so bad at boat pose. I hate it so bad. Hug in with your inner thighs. If you want, you can reach your hands forward. Yeah, you can go Sandra style. Reach your arms back and extend your legs. 
Stay connected to your center. Take two more rounds, soften your face. Yes, you guys are so good. All right, when you are ready, cross your ankles, rock forward, plant your hands, either step back or if you can hop back, go for it. Move through a vinyasa or don't. See you back in down dog. Walk it out in your down dog. Reconnect to your ujjayi breath. Ah. All right. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Peel your left hip open. Keep your shoulders strong. Stay here or option to come down to right forearm. So right arm is in a dolphin pose. And then start to crawl your left hand forward as far as you can. Yeah. Nice, Kirsten. So feel that length from your left hand all the way up to your left knee. See if you can lift your left knee a little bit higher. Keep your right shoulder strong. And everybody, wherever you're at, just a couple more rounds. If you're in regular down dog with your hip open, if there's any other way you want to explore, feel free. Slow, steady breath. Strong through your right shoulder. See if you can, with intention and awareness, come back up to your right hand. So press down, lift your right forearm up. Walk your left hand in a bit. Woo. Square off your hips, everybody. One more inhale here. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Pause, extend your left leg through. So outer edge of your left foot is on the ground. Pivot to the sole of your back foot if you can. Right arm reaches forward or up. So it can be more of a back bend or more of a side plank, up to you. Take one more big inhale, amazing job. Exhale, right hand back down. Left leg back up. Breathe in and lengthen. Pigeon pose, woo. Ever been so grateful for pigeon, huh? Left shin comes down gently, set your body down only if you want to. You can work with that quad stretch. So option to reach your right hand back, grab hold of your foot. And then it's a really funky way of rotating your fingers forward. Has to happen all the same time, goes like this. Ooh. So you're just pointing your fingers forward and then using that to work your heel towards your outer glute. There's any other variation you wanna take, feel free. Whenever you're ready, just bow. Remember, strong structure in your legs. Big deep breaths. Notice, are you tensing up anywhere you do not need to be? Are you tightening through your facial muscles, through your shoulders, through your hands or your fingers even? <sighs> Have you gone somewhere else in your head? And if so, just remind yourself to come back. Take about three to five more rounds in your pigeon. Good job, everyone. Give um, me a big open mouth sigh for your last big breath. Uh, and then slowly begin your journey into a seat. So start to lift your upper body, however you want to get there, or just sit over onto your left butt cheek, swing your right leg around. Give your legs a nice little shake out. And then sole of left foot to your right inner thigh. Let your hips open towards the windows. So just like a tree pose sitting on the ground, press your foot into your leg, leg into your foot. Flex your right toes back and make sure your right toes aren't rotating in or out. They're straight up. 
Right hand can rest on right thigh or maybe somewhere in front of your right leg. Doesn't really matter. Left arm up. So push down into your sit bones, reach up high, breathe in. Exhale, side body stretch up and over. So keep your heart open. Maybe you can grab hold of your big toe with your peace fingers. Maybe not. I can't. That's totally fine. Keep your left shoulder plugged in. So your left arm isn't in front of your face. Left bicep is next to your ear. Imagine your heart is trying to look up. See if you can let it even more. Sit bones rooted down. Press into your thigh with your foot. Breathe into your left side. Couple more rounds here. Good job, everybody. Next time you inhale, lift up. Take both arms up. Left hand down behind you. Fingers face away. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Push into the ground. Lift your hips. Right arm back, more of a modified wild thing if you want it, or more of a modified side plank if you'd rather. So just go for length and space. Big, deep breaths. Take one more huge inhale, and again, option for a lion's breath exhale. Ah. Good job. Sit bones come down. We're moving into a forward fold, so if you want to, you can just kind of swing your arms around, or if you want to, you can take a moment to readjust through your legs. So you want to square your shoulders now towards your extended leg. Pull your right butt cheek back as you work your heart forward. Keep pressing foot into leg, leg back into foot. And then use your big, deep breaths. Good. Flex your toes back, even your little baby pinky toe. Thanks, Shauna. Breathe down into your low back. Create space there. Use every exhale to melt into your fold a little bit more. Take your last couple of breaths. Very end of your next exhalation. Just roll up super, super slowly, one vertebra at a time. Extend, once you're lifted all the way back up, extend your right leg forward and just lower yourself down onto your back. Take a full body stretch once you're there. So arms long, legs long. And if when you reach your arms long and your legs long, you notice that your front ribs lift a lot. See if you can press down through your back ribs and then reach, so a more neutral spine as you reach, reach, reach. Take one more inhale. Exhale, windshield wipers. So bring your feet to the ground, knees bent. The wider, the better with your feet. Mat width distance is great. Tee out your arms or cactus your arms and just side to side at your own pace. So by widening our feet, we're creating space in our low back. Next time your knees fall to the right side, keep them there for about three breaths. If you want, you can bring the outer edge of your right foot to the outside of your left knee. Breathe down your left side from left shoulder all the way down to your left knee, that long line. One more breath. Ah, slowly come through center. Let your knees fall to the other side. Same option if you want, outer left foot to the outside of right knee and use that as gentle leverage to encourage your right knee forward and down. Lengthen from right shoulder down to right knee. And if your right ribs lift a lot, have the intention of pressing the back of your right ribs down. Ah, big deep breaths and really give your weight to the ground. When you feel pretty even on both sides, no rush, come back to center and find a happy baby pose.
And give yourself a few rounds in happy baby. Just kind of rock it out. Extend one or both legs. Bring your feet together. Bring your legs together. Anything that feels good or playful. And then eventually, any inversion you would like to take for about 10 breaths. So it can be something more restorative. It can be something more challenging, depending on how you're feeling. And you can take a couple different inversions if you want to. And after about 10 breaths in your inversion, so please don't feel rushed, take your time, but just eventually start to find your way out and take any counter poses that would feel good in your body. And also just any finishing poses that your body is calling for. So anywhere else that you personally would like to go to complete your own practice. My quote for you, my thought for you, as you settle in, is by Corey Mascara. He says, life's full range of experiences, the joy, sadness, confusion, etc., never go away. And the deepest enlightenment doesn't change any of that. Instead, we find more permission and ease being with the continuous flow of it all. Understanding that all of these parts of us contribute to the whole of what it means to be human. Life's full range of experiences, the joy, the sadness, the confusion, etc., never go away and the deepest enlightenment doesn't change any of that instead we find more permission and ease being with the continuous flow of it all understanding that all of these parts of us contribute to the whole of what it means to be human so these last few moments, friends, as I play my bowl, see if you can just be open. So imagine your body, feel yourself as this great, big, wide open space. And let the vibrations, let the sounds, let the frequencies just flow through you. And just feel whatever there is to feel whether it feels good or bad, pleasant or unpleasant, comfortable or uncomfortable. See if you can just be with it, allow it, and stay in your body, Shavasana.
Take a great big deep breath in. Let it go. Ah. And start to slowly, gently bring movement back into your body. Wiggle through your fingers, your toes. And eventually, no hurry, but eventually find your way onto either side, fetal position. Take a moment and just really let your practice absorb and sink in. Maybe there's some way you even visualize it. And then use your arm strength to guide yourself up into seated meditation. So right back where we began. And as you come into your seat, you might notice if you feel a little bit different physically, energetically, emotionally than you did in the very beginning of our practice. So close your eyes, gather your hands to your own heart, and we'll close with just one great big collective ohm. So please join in, even if you feel like you don't have a good voice, even if it makes you feel a little uncomfortable. Try not to worry about how you sound. Just focus on how it feels, your own vibration expressing out of your own body. So start by exhaling, emptying out. Clear your throat if you need to. Breathe in your voice. Uh... Thank you, everybody, so much for being here, for showing up, for letting me guide you through your practice. Namaste. She has a dirty bum. Sorry, you guys. I need to clean her bum. <laughs> I noticed that. We need to give you a little bum cleaning. <laughs> All right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a lovely day. Come back soon. She's smiling. She's a smiling girl. She's a smiling girl. She's a smiling girl. Yeah, she gets to go to the park. What a good girl. Yeah. Yeah, the good girl gets to go to the park now. Oh, did it one day. It's right. It's right. Oh. Let me name one more time. I'm sorry. It was Stephanie. Okay. I kind of thought that, but it did? Okay, awesome. Perfect. Thank you. I forgot. One second. Got to take my mother down back here.